Okay, now that we have our background image, it's time to take this and turn it into something that we could actually make a presentation out of. Obviously, if I came in here and added a title, and if I put that up on a screen, it would be very difficult to read. So what I need to do is add a box where I can start to put text. And I'm going to come in here and select here. I'm going to click on the outside box here, and I'm going to delete this text box. And I'm going to click this outside box here and delete this text box. Now I'm going to do a secondary image by coming up here to the top and selecting shape and I'm going to do a rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle on top of this image. And basically what this is going to do is going to block out most of my image and give me a space where I can um, put my text so it's easy to see. So I have this rectangle box. I don't want it to be gray because it doesn't match. So up at my top menu bar, I'm going to select fill color and I'm going to pick white course you could pick any color you wanted to. And then you'll also notice that this has a, a border and right now it's blue because it's highlighted. I can also adjust that or I could leave it as white. If I come to this arrow here and I can select a color, that red looks pretty close, then you can see that it gives it a little red outline. If I want it bigger, I'm selecting my box again. This is going to change my line weight. So I'll do that to 12. And so now you'll see that there's a um, line weight around this box. Now you can drag this box and move it. And when you see it line up like that with those grid lines, you know that it's dead center. And I'm going to let it go. To make it center, you can also right click, center on page horizontally. And then I usually right click and center it on page vertically just to make sure it's in the middle. Now, from here you have a couple of options. You could directly apply the layout of, for example, a title slide, title and body, a title in two columns, blank, captions, title only. Um, if I come in here and select title and two body, I get basically what um, you would have on any other slide. So you could add a title here, add text here. You just need to make sure that this outside box is of the proper size. You might need to make smaller or bigger. And you'll see that because I have such a busy background, I have chosen to make it bigger so that you still see the flowers in the background, but it's not so distracting. Now you can also add your own text boxes. You aren't locked in to what Google has to offer here. So I'm going to get rid of their text boxes again by clicking on the text box and then striking delete. So I'm clicking on the text box and strike delete. If I come up here to the toolbar, I can add my own text box. And so I'm just going to make a square and I'm going to write, then I would come up here, center it, and center it in the middle. I can make my font bigger. I can change my font to something nice and cool looking. And then I can grab this and I can move it around on the screen wherever I want it. Now I can also rotate it. When I hover here over this very top part, here, if I move it from side to side, I can rotate my text box. So that's how you get something that is a little bit more, um, you know, whimsical and, and something that you can play with. So you can do that and then you can just come in and add as many text boxes as you want. So it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be something that is so linear and just where you have one title with content underneath it or two different types of um, columns. You can really do a lot more with this. And as you notice, I'm moving this around. These these grid lines are popping up for me that help me get everything centered. Um, also, when I use these text boxes, the text boxes themselves can be modified. And when I come back up here to the fill color, right now it's transparent. That means there's no fill in with my text box. I can come in the back, I can make that 
background, let's make it gray. And then again, I can adjust the line. So I can make that line, this is a red we were using, I can make that line weight bigger or smaller. So then you have neat looking little buttons that you could also include um, in, your, um, in your presentation just by changing the text box and filling the text box and adjusting the outside line width of your text box. So that is how you can come in and um, add custom text boxes to your presentation so that it is not just um, the stock presentation that Google provides.